Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Ethan Etchar Fitness. So today, we're, it's the uh, first week of October, so I'm gonna talk about some habits that help with addictive behaviors and main things to consider while trying to stay sober or trying to avoid substances, stuff like that, addictive behaviors. That's what we're gonna talk about. Okay, so first things first, what we have to do to make change with ad addictive behaviors, and it has to come from within our identity, right? When we're someone who thinks that we need alcohol, uh, we're someone that loves to party and we like associate ourselves with someone that loves to drink tequila every day and we're addicted to it that's really hard to get rid of because we have this identity in our head that that's the way to that we live our lives that's the way we live right so we got to start with identity change so rather than being someone that loves to take tequila shots you got to be someone that has to understand that you have a past of that but that's just not who you are now so you have to just flip the script. If you gotta flip the script, you gotta think of yourself, your identity's gotta change. You gotta be, it's not, you're not someone that drinks tequila and parties all the time, right? You're not someone that smokes cigarettes. You're someone that doesn't do that. You're someone that takes care of their health or you're someone that has fun naturally. That's what it's gotta be coming from the identity. So that's the number one thing. That's where you're gonna have the most change. So how are you gonna do that? That's going to take a lot of meditation, a lot of writing, a lot of journaling, but it's totally feasible and it's not that hard once you've gone through it. And once you've written these thoughts down, you became clear with why you do the things you do, and you've meditated on it, you can change your identity to be someone that's not someone who needs these substances to live. You don't need to smoke weed every day to, to enjoy your day. You finally just learn how to put those things in the past, right? Maybe there are things you enjoy every now and then, of course, like in moderation, right? It's good to enjoy, you know, a, a glass of whiskey or whatever here and there or enjoy some time when you can celebrate or but you don't want to attach celebration either to these things it's just you have to understand that moderation is key right you don't want to be someone that identifies with this needing to be a necessary component of your life so, so if you through meditation through journaling once you're getting through that you understand you can change your identity around who you are when it comes to drugs and alcohol stuff like okay, that and so, so number two you're gonna have to like not even address it actually so a lot of times we think we need to tell every single person about what we're doing with our life with it when it comes to alcohol and and nicotine and weed that we need to tell everybody oh i'm trying to quit i'm trying to quit yada 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 sometimes you need to just put the uh, you know you just gotta you don't need to tell everybody about it you gotta kind of hold on to that and just keep that about you like because the more you bring it up the more people are going to try to try to kind of attack attack your like integrity for one and then also try to test you too because people like more or less they kind of want to see you fail which is really sad but that's what happens so like. for instance if you're going to go to the bar right and you go see some friends or whatever just order water or just order a drink like a so or like you know not maybe not soda either that's full of sugar we don't need that just get a juice or something you know get some water and don't even make anything about it if you're like oh yeah i'm trying to avoid wine or i'm trying so i'm just going to get my water it's just it's you're bringing more attention and more energy to the fact that you're struggling quitting being addicted to something whether if you just are adamant about it like hey i just want water i'm good boom don't even bring attention to it then you'll okay, be remember where you place your attention is like where you place your energy so when you're thinking about what you want to consume all the time are you thinking about how you were addicted or how you wanted to do this thing and, and you're you're craving it right now you're just putting more energy toward it too so that's not going to help it that's not going to help you make those improvements that you were looking for at all it's going to perpetuate your pain through it and so how are you going to do that you just just plain and simple just don't even bring it up when you're around people that you know are bad behaviors bad um, influences around it just do your thing order the water order the you know the mojito without alcohol they do that you can order drinks that are you know virgin drinks right do that it's not that hard and if you're smoking you just don't even like bring it up that you're trying to quit just don't tell your friends just do your life how you would do it live how you would live if you didn't have it it's that simple because you can do it and withdrawal is not that painful okay and one thing one of my clients he told me and it's a good point he, he realized when he was trying to, when he was um, getting rid of his alcohol addiction he said you know, once you make it for, through the first 24 hours, that shows you that you can make it through the next 24 hours and the next 24 hours. And that becomes weeks and that becomes months and that becomes years. And then number three, you're gonna have to do something challenging throughout this time. So right now it's a Sober October challenge that I'm running for the people and myself included. And 
I've been trying to drink less caffeine. So to, to do something more challenging as well that's going to promote better health behaviors is I've been taking cold showers in the morning because that's that activates my dopamine levels. It gets my epinephrine going a little bit, a little bit better than coffee. It gets my heart rate going. So it's natural and it's going to give me a more holistic um, approach. Plus it's going to give me the same amount of energy that I've been wanting anyway. So you gotta scratch the same itch per se with something that is natural and holistic. So that means if you like nicotine and stuff, that means you gotta do cardio. If you like alcohol and everything, that means you gotta get real with yourself. You gotta meditate and understand what it's like to have fun without substances. And you gotta do something hard. You gotta do hikes, you gotta do weightlifting. All right, so those are three steps to get you through your addictive mindsets right there. Do something hard, don't bring energy and attention toward it. And then number one, you gotta make that identity switch. You gotta make that identity switch. So there we go, that's this video. Thanks for checking out my channel, Ethan at Chart Fitness. Like, subscribe, I write articles on health, optimizing health and well-being. I train clients one-on-one -on -one with abandoning their addictions and losing fat and gaining muscle. Thanks for watching.